Hey there guys, Certified CY here, back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little bit of a switch up on the intro. Decided to do more of a cinematic, peaceful and calm intro to my videos. Um, I'll obviously have more of an explosive, um, more energy, more positive energy uh, intros uh, in the future obviously, but for now I wanted to just switch it up and see how I like this. But yeah, today's video is going to be over my personal opinion on the Die Die 5 mask, the paintball mask, um, whether it is worth the money or if it is not worth the money. Um, one of the key things that I like about this paintball mask is it has a very good ventilation system. Um, I have never fogged up ever. Um, even on the most humid days, usually for some reason when we play, it either has just rained previously or it's raining on that day. Um, and I play outside, so yeah. Um, I can personally say, in terms of fogging, I've never fogged, never had a problem with it. I can breathe very, very well. Um, one downside about the Die i5 I can think of, think of bleh, right now would be the um communication i guess like it's just not the audibility um it's not very audible in my opinion um i can't really speak i feel or shout as much as i wish um i have to shout kind of louder because i feel like it's just not getting my words out there because i've shouted at my teammates they don't hear me, so I have to shout extra loud. Then they hear me, so that's one bad side. Another is I can't really hear as well in them, um, getting call outs and stuff. But I mean, it does work. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. It's a good mask. It's um, a very good mask. But that is just some of the bad things I could think of off of the head right now. Another good feature about the Die i Five is it is a dual pane lens, which you should. Be getting a dual pane lens with any mask over a hundred dollars um basically what that means is there's a lens a little slick piece of styrofoam um keeping moisture out between the two lenses and then another lens um you can't you can barely tell that there's two lenses just looking at it um straight on but if you take your lens out of your mask and you look at the top of your lens you'll see a piece of styrofoam and you'll see one lens on the other side one lens on the other that's a dual pane lens um, the Die i5 does come already stocked with one of them, uh, which is very nice. This helps with things like durability, um, you know, so if you get shot, it's most likely not going to go through. Like if it were to break, which it hasn't, I've only gotten scuffs, uh, but if it were to break for some reason from a really high power shot, it's gonna have to go through the second lens as well, which is very uncommon that they're gonna break. So I, I very much appreciate that feature on the die. Another good feature that's kind of iconic with the die i5 is the rotating uh, dial on the back strap to tighten and loosen your die i5 um, to your head size. Uh, it's a very iconic and very nice feature that they've decided to include when they were innovating from the die i4. What it allows you to do is just quickly um, tighten your mask and you don't have to deal with all the, the um, straps where you have, to, you have the little plastic thing, you gotta move it around, try to find your tightness, or maybe the uh, straps come out of that little plastic um, thing that keeps them in place, and then, you know, your straps are just flapping everywhere and you have nothing to see, secure your mask to your face. No, the Die i5 has quite literally eliminated all those issues um, with a very easy, um, very convenient system on tightening and untightening your mask. You literally twist it left to loosen it and right to tighten it. Nothing more, nothing less. And another thing that you will notice about the Die i5 um, is when you look at the back where you do um, adjust the tightness, you will see it's kind of on a bigger pad area. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but as you can see right here, it's on this uh, like padded area, very large. Um, Pad area, and that honestly, uh, what that does is that helps secure it to your head. So if you're wearing a beanie or you know a head wrap, and maybe your mask isn't as 
or it is tight, but it still wiggles around. That will eliminate that. It makes sure that it's secure to your head and it actually kind of does give you a little bit more head protection from uh, getting shot in the back of the head, which is also extremely wonderful because we all know how bad that hurts. Also, what you do get with the Di5 is a very good, um, easy way to uh, clean your lens, take out your lens and replace it. All you have to do is go on each side of the mask, press down two tabs, push them forward, which will release the uh, lock from the uh, locking area. Um, the two flaps will go forward and, uh, or I mean inwards towards the mask and the lens will pop out, making it super easy to deep clean it or just remove it and replace the lens if you have a, a scuffed um, or scratched lens. And what's so cool about the die is how customizable it is. You can take uh, the ear pieces off, the um, strap pad off, the, uh, I believe you can also change the color of the dial, um, the lens, the base mask, if you just got the frame, you can make it into whatever colors you want. You can do green, blue, um, the gold, the white. You could mix all those colors into one and put it on your mask. I don't know who would do that, but it's just a cool feature to have because you can mix some pretty cool colors together. But yeah, other than it's really cool looks and sleek design, um, there is a lot of good to say about it and a lot of features. It's not just to look cool, it's to play to the best of your ability. And yeah, there's a lot of other masks out there that do the same thing. They have their own different features. Uh, the new HK SLR mask has, you know, better uh, audibility, so you can speak better, hear better, um, better breathability but not as much peripheral and not as a sleek design, it's more of a wider design. Then you have things, or masks like the EVS, um, which have a humongous peripheral, but not as sleek, it's way more of a bulky mask. Um, you have things like the JT Proflex, amazing ventilation. I would say not as much protection, to be honest, on that mask, but um, you know, you have to, you, every mask is different and unique in its own way, and it has its own designs. The Dive 5 is just the most iconic one, I feel like, for the SpeedQB uh, Speedsoft community. Uh, so I chose that one, and yeah, that's uh, why we're making the video on it. But yeah, to start off, um, to Airsoft, I would not buy a mask that expensive. I would honestly buy a JT Proflex or maybe a Virtue mask for like $70. Um, yeah, I, I just don't think it's right, because you got to make sure you really enjoy the sport before you really go all into it. Um, that's what I did before I bought it. Um, and I did buy it and I did enjoy it, but for you guys who are newer to Speedsoft or Airsoft and don't really know if you're going to like it or what to expect, definitely buy something more cheap. But yeah, guys, without further ado, that's going to wrap up the video. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, it would help out a lot if you guys could share the video. Um, comment the letters OG in the comments if you made it to the end of this video because you're a real one. You're helping me get my watch time hours up to get monetized. I believe we're at like 13.5 hours of watch time. I need a thousand. So, you know, I'm going to be trying to push out more content um, for you guys out there. But yeah, like I said, just make sure to uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment OG if you made it to the end of the video. Share it with a friend. Uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one.